And we're underway from Anteater Stadium. Vercoloni, little touch outside. Played across, was looking for Spitz. And one back into dangerous area. And it's the opening goal for Richmond. The goal for the Richmond Kickers by number 17, Jason Yisley. Jason Yisley with his third goal of the season. And I was talking to Steven Basso on the bench during warm-ups, and he said, I have a feeling Yisley's going to bag one today, given time to turn by Vercoloni. Griffiths ventures into the attack, leaves it off for Kim. Barone, Kim, swings it in. What a goal that is! And we're level in the 24th minute. Andrew Hoxie with his second goal of the season, the diving header, and we're level on the campus of UC Irvine. Uh, with their strong clearances, I've only made note of uh, Seth Moses's misclearance. A good header and a good save, but it looked to be offside. 85 minutes so far. Well, they say you have to play the full 90. The Blues can't switch off, and Josh Suggs certainly isn't here. He goes for goal. Ryan Taylor getting a touch. The shot by number Kim, able to poke it away from Hall. Won by Gonzalez. Looped over to the far side. Bought down by Cardenas. Cardenas, one on one. Gets it onto his left foot, Cardenas! Taylor with a game saving save. Pushing it to safety. And Garcia climbed the ladder. And that will do it, a sensational match, especially from the Orange County Blues point of view ends 1-1 one, one the between them and the Richmond kickers. Yes, I'm here with Andrew Hawks and the man of the match here tonight and we talked about it on the way over here it's your first tie of the season so that's kind of a little bit depressing but it's a very good Richmond squad what do you think about today's performance? Uh, yeah, It's a little bittersweet uh, I mean I'm actually happy with the performance it's our first tie of the season if we had to pull it out a few more ties this entire season we'd be in good shape but uh yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to score at the end, but uh, we created a lot of chances, and overall, it's good performance from our guys. So. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys played, I thought you guys played really well today, here today, and, and it's been a recent struggle, I guess you can say. What do you think was the difference here tonight? The difference, uh, we actually scored today, so and we created a lot more chances. Uh, we had a lot of uh, fire behind us, and we just unfortunately couldn't put another one away. But uh, once again, I'm happy. I'm happy with the tie. So. Yeah, and you got the the only goal here for the OC Blues. And Kim, I thought, also had a very good game. Uh, set you up. What did you see on that play? Uh, we worked a lot this week in training on getting the ball in the box and uh, early balls. And we had a nice 10 or 11 passes combo. And then Kim saw me and put it in behind the defenders. And I just made a run and got my head on it and do what a Ford does finish. So. And you talked about the the different passing. You guys and the, you guys had the ball for when you guys set up the goal. You guys had the ball for a good minute. Yeah. I mean, was that more to get the ball out of Richmond's hands, or was it to more set up like a goal, like it happened for you? Uh, we're actually a very good team in possession, but we just haven't been able to make the final pass. And uh, fortunately, it was perfect. I mean, it looked to be honest, it looked like Barca out there, just ping, 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 and then good cross and a finish. So, I mean, I was very excited about the goal, but uh, it's tough. We can only get one, so. So if it was Barcelona, you're Messi, right? <laughs> Messi's like probably this tall on me. <laughs> okay, it gets a Messi with height, but I thank you. I appreciate the interview, and then good luck on your final Thanks, game. Man, appreciate that.